Hello there. Let me show you something cool. It's a tool I have developed that runs in your browser. It's called geogone.net. And uh, here you can see it running in your browser window. It's a uh, based on processing GS so everything in here is processing and the interface is JavaScript HTML5 as you can see in the menus it's kind of cool okay but the, but the program it's for creating geometry based on natural formations or sacred geometry it's geometry that is found in nature everywhere, in flowers, in trees, in all formations that are natural. This uh, program allows you to create these formations and manipulate them. Let me show you here. This, this here is a formation. It has different recursion levels. It has this recursion depth is zero, so it's just one simple triangle. As you can see here, I can rotate it like this with my keyboard, scale it, scale it down, see what it looks like. Then I can uh, add more points to the formation, making it wholly different. Here you can get five points from the pentagon formation six points hexagon and so on and uh, you can add points even to infinity if you like it's it just gets closer and closer to a real circle anyway let's put that to back to like six and um move it to the center with the keyboard you can also do it from here if you want but you can use the arrow keys it's much easier uh, here you can see modifier flags which tell what kind of uh, modifiers are active like if I activate the scale rot modifier with alt key it will instead of moving the formation it will scale or rotate it with the arrow keys and if I activate the shift key it activates the, the fine modifier which means that I can be more uh, fine-tuned in my actions it scales down the number of uh, uh, amount of parameter chains so yeah this way I can play around with the shapes also I can use the keyboard to increase the number of the points with the A or Z the degrees and now is the funny part let's get a bit down and uh, here is the recursion depth this defines how many levels of children this formation has in it so now it's zero because it's just uh, it has no recursion it's just one shape if I increase the recursion depth it will just start to replicate the same shape around around uh, the current shape so here you see increase decrease and with three points it forms a, like a triforce you, you can try it around with different settings and see it can get a bit heavy with high recursion depth because the number of children are always exponentially increased anyway let me show you how to make something cool with this so maybe you get excited about it too here I have like a sh simple triforce formation I'm gonna change the canvas color to make some something more interesting something nice yeah that's a nice color here yeah. and uh, here I can move it around add more points to it decide oh yeah I like this I'm gonna make 
copy this. So I press C. So it copies the formation. And I can do this like this everywhere when I want. Mm, that's not quite it. Okay, I can also delete the formation with D. Okay, and this is where it this mod L gets really useful because with this, if I press the space bar key, it starts modifying all the formation on the screen. So I can modify all of these new formations at the same time. I can I can apply all operations to them, like decrease recursion depth, decrease points. Uh, increase points and so on and now I can I can actually copy all of these again with C like this so I now I have this kind of cool formation here but uh, maybe it needs a bit big color to make it more cooler so I can shift through these formations with J and K. So now I now now this formation act is active. So I can change its line color to something more cool, like red. Yeah. Then I just actually when I click here, I can make it a bookmark. So the next color I want to is actually that's more cool. Yeah. I can save that here change to the next formation, then just, oh yeah, use this color or maybe something else. That That's more cool. So let's book my tackle here and just repeat the process, you know, it still needs work to make nice, nice stuff, but it's much easier. Like that. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. Okay, so there we go. Change the canvas color a bit. Make it a dark gray so we can see the colors. And we can also change the view view color, which is this area here. So. Make it a more sub something more cooler. Yeah, like this. This is pretty cool. Now they need some more weight to the lines maybe. So I will add more line weight and with modify all it will make them a little bit more defined. Now I wanna scale them up a little bit, so maybe, I don't know. I like this more. And I can move them around like this. I can even copy all of this if I wanna. This is just a simple picture, but I can. Uh, you can save an image. Image here. It exports a PNG picture, which you can save to your hard drive. You know, you can call it P Magenta. Magenta uh, hexas. For example, it's a bit hard to type here. Okay, so also there's a lot of you can export your scene, so you can copy this string that actually explains the whole scene here. So you can copy this to your text editor or save it and uh, export import it later. I can show you how it works. Just copy this with Ctrl C, then uh, reload the page. And now it's it's back to default, so I'm gonna import it from here, import scene, and just paste here, import scene, but um, here it is. So yeah, that's a bit what cool stuff you can do with Geogone, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, go to geogone.net to 
use it live in your browser. Thank you.